Okay, I guess we're live. I decided I was going to go ahead and do this, and uh, actually, when I made it, I made it private. But later on, I'll go back and and uh, mark it public so you guys can see it. Uh, still have no idea what happened yesterday. Uh, as you can see, I'm out in the Hubble again. Well, it wasn't yesterday. It was earlier in the night. It's actually not quite 11.30 here right now. But anyway, I wanted to get this stuff out to you and uh, just, you know, apologize. I'm sorry it didn't work out last time. But uh, everything seems to be fine now. I'm sure Vin Zandri will be glad to know it. I finally got it worked out because I'm supposed to play on his show again, I don't know, sometime in late April. So I thought I'd uh, go ahead and give you a very short version of what I was going to say to you uh, yesterday. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do, since this is going to people who are uh, signed up for the daily, you know, almost daily journal, and uh, it's also going to those who are signed up for the sh short stories, the free short story every week over on Stanbro Writes. And, and eventually I want this to mostly be, uh, I want it to mostly be for readers. Uh, but we'll talk about writing at times too. Just depends a lot on what you guys want to talk about. Anything about writing is fine, and also I'll talk about some of my characters and some of the worlds I've gotten to, to write in. Um, any of that kind of stuff will be fair game. I won't talk about any other writers unless it's to plug them now and then, like Ben Zandri uh, <laughs> or, uh, you know, to use one as an example. If I use another writer's work as an example, which I probably won't, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give him credit for it. Anyway, I hope to do this every Sunday at 1 p.m. from this point forward. And if there's anything you guys want to hear me talk about on here, uh, just email me. It's easy. It's my name at gmail.com. Um, okay, one of the big things I wanted to tell you uh, yesterday is about stonethreadpublishing.com. This is a big deal to me, not just because it's my company, but because we need to start cutting out these mega giants that are between the readers and the writers. We need to start cutting them out. Uh, I went through Stone Thread Publishing. Uh, dot com and updated all the book pages so you can buy any book direct from STP with one click and if you shop there you'll uh, pay less for the book and I get to keep whatever you send me so we just kind of cut out those those big middle guys I'm also thinking about putting together a new monthly publishers note uh, for Stone Thread Publishing. If I do that, it'll go out toward the end of the month and it will be mostly for readers. I'll talk about releases from the previous month and releases from the upcoming month. You know, it doesn't take me long to turn a novel around, so I'll probably talk about previous and upcoming months. I'll also announce any special deals and flash sales. And if I if I decide to go ahead and do that, release that note, I'll announce that in my my current two small venues, the journal and the, the Stanbro Rights Substack. Okay. Uh, then I had a bunch of junk on here. See, I actually wrote a script for the thing I was gonna do for you yesterday. And it sucks trying to follow a script while you're supposed to be looking at the camera and I keep looking down at the screen. So I'll get my head around it eventually. Um, 
let's see. Oh, if you're not part of Stambro Writes, Substack.com yet, uh, you might check into that. It's a free short story every week. If you enjoy my writing, that's fine. If you are a writer who want to learn more about some of the techniques I teach in the journal, uh, one good way to do that is read some of the stuff I've written. Why would you trust advice from a guy if you don't read his, you know, read at least some of what he's written? So you can see that I'm practicing what I'm preaching. Uh, back on the characters for a minute. I've been really blessed over the last 10 years because uh, I've had some really great characters who asked me to share their stories. And they also did that in some really great worlds to write, like the Blackwell Ops world, which was modern day. But in, in a couple, in some of those books, they actually time travel uh, back to around the 1940s or 50s in Mexico. Uh, and then Wes Crowley, that whole thing, you know, took place from 1880s Texas up in the Amarillo Panhandle all the way to, uh, to 1950s or so Mexico. And uh, the little town, Agua Perlado, is uh, my Mexican friends just winced because that was a horrible pronunciation. But Agua Perlado is down in uh, the, the state of Guerrero, Mexico which if you don't know where that is, Acapulco is in Guerrero. So that's the area where the stories take place in the later books of the West Crowley series. Uh, several of the main characters in the Journey Home series too are really good characters, especially the security officer. Uh, they have a female security officer there who reminds me a lot of Coraline and uh, Soliada Garcia. And so, you know, she's strong and she's uh, just a very good character. And there are some good, strong male characters there too, but I really like really strong female characters. Uh, so that's about it. I just wanted to uh, uh, partly to show you I've actually got this thing fixed. Um, so I just decided I'd go ahead and do this little blurb for you and I'll talk with you, you know, with any luck at all, <laughs> I'll talk with you Sunday, uh, March 24th, I think at 1 PM Arizona time. We did, we, we do that sensible thing. You know, we don't spring the clocks forward and, and drop, kick them back and all that stuff. Just leave it alone. Somebody said uh, only Congress would think they could uh, get a longer blanket by cutting a foot off the end of it and, add, and and sewing it to the other end. So, okay, that's about it for me. And I'll talk with you later. Check out stonethreadpublishing.com. See if you can find something in there you like. Talk to you later.